Kai baby girl. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. <gasps> Did he me? Oh, oh. Shh, 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 That's it. She's asleep. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Danny Keeping It Real, and she's here. Bubba's here. I mean, she's not very lively. She's sound though. She's got my thing. So this is baby Orla May Edney. Her name is Orla, and her middle name is May, but a lot of people think it's Orla May, don't they? Everyone does. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video on here. I do apologise guys, so many people have been messaging me and asking about the labour. So here it is and we are ready. Ooh. Ooh. No, I ended up being 12 days, wasn't it eventually? Yeah, 12 days in the end, what, from when, to when you give birth it was, yeah, yeah. I was 12 days over eventually. She kept us waiting. I felt like I was ready to pop six weeks I'd say before I even actually did um, so when it got to the 8th which I was convinced and it didn't happen then I was like okay I think it's going to be the 10th and then I was like okay she was actually due the 14th of May you always said the 20... 20th 20th mm. which my sister's birthday got to the 20th no no, no sign and I did everything tried everything didn't you? tried everything all of these what are they called old wives towels, wives towels yeah. I don't think none of them no. are None of them are real. No. I think it's just a coincidence when people are like, oh, I've had a curry and then I'll give birth. I think it's just coincidence. Yeah, I do. Like, so I did everything, didn't we? So we had curry, spicy curry, yeah. two of those. We had pineapple, apparently if you eat the core of pineapple and a lot of it, that can bring on labour, done that. Um, walks. Walks, of walks, lots of walks. So we're now a day over, one day over a due date. She's still not. Still not arrived, so it's a beautiful day though to go walk in. I mean, it was nice to get out. I was so out of breath, weren't I? Mm. The day four, and she's still not here. So I'm literally just walking around the garden to see if this will help at all. when we thought well, my water's broke and they weren't. I just think I wet myself. Yeah, she got, we've been for a walk on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon and she jumped in the car and she's like, my water's are broke. I even made you touch the leggings. Yeah, she made me touch the leggings and they were, they were damp. I was like, the water's are broke, this is game on. And no, the water's hadn't broke. It was definitely woolly. Exactly seven days over my due date. As you can see, still very heavily pregnant and she's not. She's not moving. So eventually, after trying everything and having two sweeps, I ended up getting induced. So we are on our way to the hospital. Are you nervous? I'm a little bit nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect. I know, yeah. it's like sick, it's like that. Yeah, it is. We're known you feel anxious, like that fear of the unknown, they say. So yeah, we're on our way to the hospital because I'm going to get induced. I don't really know what to expect because some people say that when they get induced, the, their labour comes on really quick. Then some people it can take up to like 24, 48, even 72 hours. So we're not too sure. We're hoping she comes quick. <laughs> and you're just waiting around the time, aren't you? It was waiting around, while well, I was there, waiting around to at 7 o'clock that night, weren't it? Yeah. Then we went home, back yeah. up on the Monday morning, another day of waiting, nothing really happened that day, but did it? No, but because of coronavirus, obviously Tom couldn't be with me. So I was in hospital on my own. Without you, I would be nothing. You were waiting in the car for how long? Well, on the Monday, I got back up there at about eight in the morning. She said, don't want to miss nothing. Um, but I waited around all day. And again, I went home about eight o'clock in the evening, like sitting around in the car all day. Um, nothing happened, did it? No. I'd be, so you get induced three times. There's three ways of being induced. So there's like a little pessary gel, and there's like a hormone and nothing was bringing on my labour. So I'm at the hospital, my sexy socks. I have been induced. I'm two centimetres dilated, but my cervix is still quite far back, so it needs to get softer and brought forward a little bit more. A hormone gets inserted in, but it's got like a little string attached, a little bit like a tampon. So the midwife's 
obviously inserted that inside me didn't actually hurt i thought the sweep hurted hurt sorry hurt it hurt more than that did so now it's just waiting it's a waiting game when you got actually into the into the room when it all happened like i think everyone went out the window well i'd gone from wanting a water birth with like not obviously candles but like it just being in that kind of like real yeah. real lovely setting um dimmed lights music i even asked for wow music like it was all of that and then what ended up actually happening was two days of being in hospital and nothing really happening and then eventually i got to four centimeters i then ended up on a epi like an epidural <laughs> Demanding, weren't I? No, you screaming. Right? Screaming. I was screaming for it. Okay, well done. <laughs> That's it. Relax, relax. That's it. Relax. <laughs> Doing well. That's it. You were amazing. The thought of you is what keeps me alive. Midwife Harriet. She was amazing, honestly, I yeah, can't even... Unreal, weren't she? The staff at um, Broomfield Hospital in Chelmsford were unbelievable. She was literally like, push, and you were like, push. It was so funny, because I told you to start at this end. Well... I ended up down, down the war zone at one point. <laughs> I see everything. So when I was down there, when you was pushing in the end, so down, <laughs> no, down, no, your, down your there. legs were in the stirrups. Such a, such a beautiful sight. But to get her to push, another midwife coming, we had our feet on the shoulders and we was like pushing back towards us yes. so she could really push. Yeah. That's it. Oh. It's, I can't, even, I can't even explain the feeling because for me, I just had this goal of like, she needs, she needs to get out. She needs to come now. I mm. need to get her out. And it was, it got to a point where I was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. No. But you do find that inner strength and you like, if you were going push and everyone was like push. And then eventually, obviously, it was like I felt her head coming out, and then the rest of like just yeah, once the heads out, it's all sort yeah, of the rest pull, of, they pull then, don't they? And then literally, they, they put all of straight onto my chest. <laughs> Good side. Come yeah, on, yeah, push, yeah, push, yeah. push, push, you're doing really well. But all I remember was her her eyes so open. Like, yeah. I, I thought she was going to be like eyes shut and but her eyes were just and she was just staring she yeah. looked straight at me I'm safe as long as you're with me without you I would be nothing I think we're doing quite well though. Yeah, we're doing alright.